Today I'm going to show you how I made a face mask with an LED display that shows warning text, images, and voice display that is controlled from your phone. How are you guys all doing? I'm going to say it's been a tough few weeks with everything that's been going on in the world. It's been really hard to be motivated to do the types of projects that I normally do because it seems pretty trivial at times like these and nobody is really thinking about going out in light of costumes at the moment. I was out running errands yesterday and wearing a medical mask. This is a mask that one of my suppliers in China sent me for free with some materials for my panel dress project, which was really kind of them. It just shows you how people come together from all around the world and support each other right now. I'm grateful to have a few of these masks, but the style wasn't really matching, and a few commenters mentioned that they expected me to make something that lights up. And of course, I got the idea for this project. Now as a disclaimer, this mask is more of a novelty mask for fun. It's obviously not the most efficient way to breathe through electronics, so this isn't necessarily something you'd be wearing out for a long time. That being said, I can still breathe fine since the panel does not cover everything. The LED panel I used here is some new tech that I talked about in an earlier video that I'm also using for some of my other fashion tech designs, and I also have them available for sale for your DIY projects. The link to get it is below, and for this project it's reusable so you can repurpose it for other projects later. I started with a COVID mask pattern from Sugardale. A friend sent me this link and it's a really nice pattern that she's made available for free. I'll link to it below so go check it out. I essentially followed the pattern to a T with a few differences. One difference is that I use stretchy straps, and the other is that the fabric you need for this project is specific. I used one layer of solid cotton fabric and a second layer of semi-sheer fabric. Having the sheer fabric is essential to let the LEDs shine through. These ones are quite bright, so a lot of different fabrics will work, but it needs to have a little bit of transparency. As I mentioned, she has a great tutorial on her site that I followed. Essentially, you fold the fabric in half, sew in darts for your chin and nose, and then stitch everything together. Normally, I would use a serger and do a little bit better job on the detail and the quality, but I was going a bit fast as this one was more of a proof of concept. When making the pattern, you need to ensure that the semi-sheer layer is the one that's on the top and the outside layer. Another difference is that we need the pocket to be accessible to take the panel in and out. So for my version, I left one side open and stitched the elastic only to one layer so it'll still be able to open and close. I used a safety pin to pin the battery in and the edge of the panel, which worked quite nicely and held everything in. With these LED panels, you can add text, images, and an equalizer function through a free app for Android and iOS. I originally had the idea of doing warning messages like stay away, six feet away, and then I drew this weird little mouth thing thinking that it might be funny. And I was right, it was pretty hilarious. There is also a microphone function with equalizer graphics, which is pretty cool to have it respond to your voice as you're speaking. This definitely gave it a dystopian, robotic, post-apocalyptic vibe, which maybe doesn't cure my anxiety about things, but here we are. That's really all there is to it, and you could use a variety of mask patterns so long as you make sure that you have a semi-sheer material on top, and you leave a pocket open to be able to insert and remove the panel. This project took me about 30 minutes total. I also started sewing a lot of normal non-tech masks and distributing them, which is making me feel a bit more productive and motivated and like I can make a little bit of a difference a lot more than I was feeling earlier. Let me know if you end up trying this or if you come up with any other ideas for tech-enabled masks. And if you have any ideas for drawings or texts that I should try out on my own mask, let me know. And stay safe, everyone.